What's up everybody? I'm Kalithlaya and welcome to A Bird's Story. The next uh, game in the... I mean, uh, this next game that was released in uh... What? Um, okay. So we have more buttons to use. Alright then. Yeah, it's the next game that was made by uh, Freebird Games. We're just gonna run through all their games at this point because they're shorter games and... Why not? <laughs> Climbing the tree? Oh, is there something in there? Is it like where you hide stuff? Mm hmm. It's a good throw, man. I, I, I've never been able to get those to go very far. Like, I throw them and like a foot away, they just immediately dip down to the ground. It's, <laughs> it's a problem. Having trouble sleeping. I get that one completely. Like I, I too struggle with sleeping sometimes. It's like my body just doesn't like it at all. Nope. Is it? No. Weird. What? Oh. Oh my god. Oh no, oh jeez. The birds. Um... Okay... This is weird. Um... I have no clue what's happening to be honest with you. I like, I know I haven't been talking much, but the first part I was just like, yeah, it's better just to be silent because I can't think of anything to say and the game's not giving me much to work with. So now we're in class. It's been a long time since I've played this. It's so much so that like it's it's completely left my memory. To put it in perspective, this game came out in like 2015, and I'm pretty sure I played it not long after it came out, so and I never picked it up again. So I, my brain's just completely forgotten what this is. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. God damn kids.
So she shoved him outside and just like you're saying. Hold on. Yeah, I think you think about it. <laughs> Come on. She can't. I don't think she can actually see you. I think she's just yelling. Listen, she, if she could have seen that you weren't there anymore, then she would have come out and, and grabbed you. What the? What? Okay, what's happening here, kid? Listen, you, your imagination's going way too wild. A and now we're just outside. Okay. Nobody wants to play on the seesaw with me? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's get on. What even is that? Like, is it like a bull on the ground? It's weird. I've never seen something like that. Oh, what are you doing over here? a strange playground although at the same time this could be just completely kids imagination for the fact that like lockers were turning into trees I don't know anymore it gives me Fran Bo vibes the last thing I want is Fran Bo vibes that game got weird real fast like it just went from like a horror game to like what even is this anymore I don't know what's happening Anything for me to click on? I guess not. Nope. Sorry. I think this is gonna be a, a game that's difficult to, uh, to stay on track with what's happening just because like things are just transitioning in such a weird way like I just don't understand oh lights are being weird oh and the spooky music back is that blood oh no they're, they're, they're animals okay thank god <laughs> For a second there, I thought somebody had died. I think I already know the name of this episode. It's just it's just gonna be called Never Ending Confusion. I I couldn't even read that. Oh, there's your room. Is it me or is it very obvious when I'm moving and when the character's just moving on their own? Because I feel like it's very- actually it also shows you the arrows whenever- <laughs> Okay, you know, just ignore what I said. Oh, just something to do with the fridge. With the, um, something in there to eat? You can make yourself a grilled cheese sandwich? That's like probably the only thing I knew how to make as a kid. Like when I was his age, I probably only knew how to make grilled cheese. Actually, I could make a variety of sandwiches. But my mom tells a story that when I was a toddler, I would get like so impatient when it came to lunch that I would just get up and like drag a like a a chair to the countertop and make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Because <laughs> I just did. I was impatient and I I didn't want to wait for her to come in and, and make it for me. And so I just go ahead and do it myself. What you can never say is that uh, that I wasn't 
independent, you know, I I was very much independent for the fact that I was willing to freaking go out of my way just to make a sandwich because I was too impatient. What? What are you- Are you serious? You can do that on your bed. What is it like? Your bed just really like it's like rock hard or something? I don't Book? Book on your desk. You gonna make more paper airplanes? Yep, I knew it. I'm a genius, don't you know? Oh, how cute. When I was a kid, we're too, we were too poor for paper. We played with mud instead. So, man, you keep breaking your freaking paper airplanes, man. It doesn't grow on trees. You have to take a tree down and like turn it into paper instead. If only there was a tree that like uh, grew paper, then we wouldn't have to cut down the trees anymore. <laughs> We'd just have to have a bunch of those trees. I mean, it'd be better for the environment, honestly, and our breathing, just in general. It's better for everybody. I think I've come up with, like, the worst things to say in this alone, probably just because it comes down to the fact that this, like, this game doesn't give you much, <laughs> I've noticed. Maybe it wasn't a good idea for me to make video. Nah, I'm already doing it, I'm gonna stick to it. I fell asleep all- nope. You're gonna be late for school. Get up and go. Actually- the, the alarm would be the, quite the contrary. If you wake up to your alarm, then it's like, yeah, I know, you're not going to be late. Unless you, like, wake up and realize that you've slept through ten minutes of your alarm going off. Which I've done in the past. I've literally, like, I remember having a dream where my alarm was going off in the dream, but I didn't think anything of it because it was a dream. And you don't think when you're having a dream. You're just like, yep, that's just the thing that happens. And so I had, like, woken up, like... 15 minutes later and realized, oh, my alarm was going off in my dream. <laughs> and yet I still didn't freaking notice it. Alright, alright, let's, let's get a move on. Uh, yeah, that room. Was that room there before and I just didn't notice it because the door there was no door for it? What's with the trumpet? Like, it feels like it's ham-fisted in there. I'm sorry, I do enjoy the the trumpet, but it just doesn't it doesn't feel like it belongs. Also, he looks like he's very angry. Although it is in the morning. I'm I too look like I'm about to kill someone when I wake up in the morning. Like there's like an immense amount of rage. Uh, you know, I'd I'd be angry too if I woke up to this every morning. Not every morning, but like for me, I do have some mornings. Like, oh, your book. Oh, isn't that cute? I I was a terrible like I, I was terrible at drawing when I was uh, a kid, so I never did it. <laughs> I just opt to like I don't know, make some like. I think I would I would think I would like color and I would read books. That's what I did majority of the time. Three muffins. Is there gonna be combat? Oh god. Oh, it's raining today, so take the umbrella. What a wonderful parent to tell you, hey, you know, bring the umbrella. Kid, come on, take the umbrella. Okay. Yeah, here we are, back to, uh, back to fantasy. Okay, so we're playing a game of Frogger, eh? So what's happening here? Okay, I guess I guess Frogger's over.
Again? Kid, seriously? You're, you're gonna get in trouble again. The other kid next to you is gonna freaking do something and you know it's gonna happen. No, no, you, you're still asleep though. How much sleep does this kid get? Oh. Uh oh. Jesus. I don't know where this kid's from, but like in most schools nowadays, you cannot do that. That's a that's a lawsuit immediately. <laughs> it's amazing to think about how like something like that just can't happen anymore. But like, not long ago, uh, like you could literally like get spanked at a school. Like, that was like a thing that happened. At least at least in America, it did. I don't know about other countries, but I know. In America, my mom has talked about how, uh, how it was... Wait. How it was possible to, uh... To, um, get, like, spanked in, like, class if you did something you weren't supposed to. And it was, like, it was freaking violent, too. They'd, like, have the freaking ruler with the holes in it and stuff. It's like, Jesus. You think a belt's bad? My god. Wait, wait. Jump. I don't think I ever jumped in puddles on purpose. Probably because I knew if I did, my mom was gonna, like... If I got, like, dirty, my mom was gonna hose us down. Like, she did not care. She's like, you are not coming in this house all dirty. I will hose you down first. <laughs> I just said, oh, she would do it. So I guess I just avoided getting dirty as much as I could. At the very least, like, if... Even- I did say that we played with mud, which I probably did play with mud when I was a kid. I'm just not remembering. But even then, I know for a fact that if I did, I would only get on my hands. So I could rinse off my hands. And, like, not have to get, like, all my clothes and stuff, like, hosed down and stuff. Because that just feels uncomfortable, you know? Like, having wet clothes just does not feel good. Yeah, I hear it. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a raccoon. I'm pretty sure there's another animal that looks like that that I'm just not thinking of right now. And the other thing's a... A bird. I'm gonna call it a willow. Oh, can it not fly anymore? Oh, little guy. Come here, I'll take care of you. And I, I can't move, so I guess I was just having to stare down with a bird. Yeah, that's pretty typical. The, the bird's scared. To be honest, it's probably for the best. They do have birds who carry a lot of diseases, and you have to be careful with that, and so... <sighs> I'm keeping a distance, okay. Poor thing. Oh. How cute. That's adorable. I think I'm gonna have to change the title now. The, what is with the trees? I okay, oh. I'm supposed to go up can I caught up in the trees? Back home we go, I assume. Oh. 
No, it's a, a clinic. Can I, hello? I got a bird here that needs some help. Can I not go inside? Hello, anybody home? No? That must be bedtime for him. Actually, I am going to have to end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more from me, why not subscribe? And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.